Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about asynchronous processing using Hangfire and Async Flow. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. All right, job-based asynchronous processing. Job-based asynchronous processing works on a simple yet powerful principle Instead of making the client wait for a response, immediately acknowledge the request and process it in the background. This would allow platform to instantly free up resources for other clients while still handling ACMIC's grand gantum dataset. So imagine it is as a ticket counter at a bustling train station. When a passenger client requests a ticket, process data, instead of making them wait in line until their request is fulfilled, they are handed a token job ID. They can go about their other tasks and check back later with a token to see if their ticket is ready. If it's not, they can continue waiting without holding up the line for other passengers. The approach had several advantages. Scalability. The system can scale more efficiently, handling numerous requests simultaneously without straining the system. User experience. Users aren't left in the dark they get immediate feedback that their request is being processed. Three, resource management. The server can better manage its resources, deciding which job to prioritize based on several factors like size, type, or premium clients. But like all solutions, it wasn't without its challenges. So what number one is complexity. Implementing asynchronous processing might complicate the architecture, especially for systems not initially designed for it. Number two, user education. Users need to be educated about the new asynchronous system, ensuring they understand the importance of the job ID and the need to check back for the result. With the pros clearly outweigh the cons and the urgency of situation set for to implement the job based asynchronous processing in their platform. We will be using async flow and hang fire to streamline implementation of the job-based asynchronous processing pattern. So first install async flow. After that install hangfire. After installing async flow and hangfire with just few lines of code, we could configure this application by to utilize the job-based asynchronous processing pattern. So here's example. It is. It was evident that the synergy between async flow and hang fire streamlined the setup. Hang fire's powers as a powerful job scheduling library came into the spotlight. Here, hang fire is known for rob its robustness and its ab ability to support various storage providers. So, the ease of setting things up combined with the powerful features of both async flow and hang fire we are on the right path with this foundation in place we are ready to explore further how to make most of these tools all right crafting the business logic with async flow having already set up the foundation to craft the business logic for this application with async flow this process was straightforward all we need to do is to implement the ai async flow t request t result interface which to the like was elegant and concise so to create a job that generates some data based on a given input let's take a look at this dummy implementation so here's example with just a few lines of code this service should process incoming requests the beauty of async flow is that we don't have to worry about underlying complexities of job queuing, status checking, and result retrieval. So we simply focused on core business logic of this application. Next, we will see how effortlessly map the endpoints, thereby offering a seamless API experience for these users. Having sculpted the business logic, next step was to expose these capabilities through an API, 
with async flow the task was as straightforward as it could get so by registering the generate data job with the service container so here's example then with just one line map the job to a set of predefined endpoints using mapflow extension so by doing this we got automatically four endpoints number one is nq endpoint this allows users to submit jobs number two status endpoint this provides the current status of a submitted job number three result endpoint through this users can fetch the results once the job is done and number four delete endpoint the, this facilities the removal of the job results okay now leveraging the power of hang fire one aspect of async flow is that it seamlessly integrated with hang fire by using Hangwire under the hood, Async Flow inherited many of its powerful features, allowed to handle job processing with even greater efficiency and flexibility. Hangfire Dashboard With Hangfire's built-in dashboard, we could monitor and manage jobs in real time. Whether it was tracking the process of job, retrying the failed ones, or even diving deep into job logs, the dashboard provided a comprehensive view of all tasks, making troubleshooting a breeze. So here's the example. With just this line, we can access hand fire dashboard, a potent tool to monitor job queues, recurring jobs, succeeded and failed jobs. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned the concept of async flow and hang fire using them simultaneously to help long running tasks and the ability to scale and monitor the application. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.